What's up everybody? Halloween Candy here and today I'm going to be ranking my top 10 worst spirit Halloween props. For this list I'll only be counting life-size props that were made by spirit, not like any tabletops or I guess three foot props can count actually. And joining me is one of my many Raggedy Ann dolls that I own. From now on most of the time you might be seeing that I'll be holding a little dolly while um, making these videos. But now Let's get right into it. I've got my phone because it's a little hard for me to keep track of my thoughts, so I um, went down the list. I created a list for the, the worst props, in my opinion. So let's start with number 10. Number 10 is 2021's ghost face. I'm sorry. Like, I don't know. I, I, get, I bet that there's people out there that like this prop, but just, he's too small. Like, it's a it's a it's a reskin of the Hauntress, and he's smaller than the Hauntress. He's a he's way too small. That's that's really my only complaint. And the fact that there was there's a Jemmy ghost face. You all know the Jemmy ghost face. The Jemmy ghost face is incredible, and it does not nearly compare to that. I'm done talking about this guy. So let's just um let's move on. Number nine is the graveyard ghoul. I. It's a good idea. I, I like the fact that it's a head just going around a grave a gravestone, but it's hair. You all know know this was coming. That the hair. It just gets stuck and it gets upside down and all tangled. Like, come on, spirit. You why did you give him hair in the first place? I feel like the hair is the reason why it's so bad. Like it just gets tangled and messes up the entire prop. Okay, we're gonna move on to number eight. This one might be a little weird, but number eight, Headless Jack. I saw, when I saw him in person for the first time, I was like a baby haunter. I was just getting to know Spirit for the first time, really. I've been going to Spirit for years, but I was really starting to get invested around that time. And I, when I stepped on the step pad, I was just so confused. Like, why wasn't he doing anything? And the, I'm sorry, I think the design is ugly as heck. Like, why? I, I hate it. I'm so sorry. I know there's people out there that like him, but I really don't like it. Like, what the hell is that? The idea? Pretty cool, I guess. I mean, giant pumpkin man with viney, a viney body for once, but it, I feel like it was just executed so badly. I thought I heard a worker there, fun fact, I thought I heard a worker there tell me that his, his arms raised, but I, was, I did not see him do anything. I, I probably just misunderstood what the guy said, so I'm not blaming him. Okay, I'm done talking about him. I'm, I'm really done. <laughs> okay. Up next on number seven is Spike. Spike is an online only prop from 2021, if you guys forgot. Oh, no, wait, no, he's from 2022. My mistake. The, again, he's so, he's hideous. Like, there's no blood on him whatsoever, so it just looks wrong. And his awkward expression, like, dude, it, 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 it physically hurts me to look at this guy. Like... I mean, there's a stake through his head and there's no blood. Come on, spirit, give us more blood. I mean, this year, I think they are going to redeem themselves a little bit from 2022. There's a lot of 2022 props here. So I'm, I'm warning you. And number six is Betty Sharp. Now, this one, I, I don't know if it's controversial or not. Most people hate her. I guess some people like her, but I don't. I don't, I know the face is uncanny and all, and she does, in fact, have a lot of blood. I mean, I appreciate that, but why didn't other ones have props like Spike? But, I, I mean, my mom did find her pretty scary when she, we saw her in store, but am I the only one that thinks she looks constipated? Like, I, I can't be the only one that thinks that. Like, that face, she just looks, she looks constipated. And I just wish she had more animation, too. Like, I get it, the body bag moves, but... For how expensive she is, can she just please move a little bit more? Next up at number five is Tombstone Terror. Now, honestly, I can see the, where the idea was coming from. Like, you can hide it in a graveyard setup, and then all of a sudden that, that skull pops out and scares people. And it's a good idea if Spirit didn't make it. Like, Spirit is known for, like, their cool, unique stuff. But this is completely unoriginal. Like, maybe, like, Lowe's or something. Or just some smaller company that's not known for Halloween really could um, do something like that. And I'd be like, cool, great idea. 
But Spirit, they were really falling, falling hard at that moment. I mean, 2023 does look good, so I'm giving it that. But that, why did they put him on display too? Like there was Straw Man and Widow, although I did see a Straw Man in my store once, but most of the, they weren't intending that. But why did he have to be on display? Like he did not deserve to be there. Him and Bag of Bones, even though, um, spoiler alert, Bag of Bones is not on this list as of now. At number four, number four is another 2022 prop, Rat Girl. Oh my God. I feel like I don't even need to explain Rat Girl. She's just, there's really nothing special about her. All she, she's got a headless rat. Well, not even headless. It's just a slightly bloody rat. And she just, she doesn't look, I mean, I guess she does have red eyes from what I remember, but I don't, I didn't look at her much because I hated her a lot. And yeah, like she's not special and all she does is sing three blind mice and stuff like that and put those grippers away girl really what was the target audience for rat girl like I, I don't know anybody including myself that would be like i'm gonna put this in my haunt okay okay we made it to the top three let's go number three is wheelchair granny <sighs> i am so confused like, I mean, we all know the wheelchair psycho and that one also has mixed opinions. I like the wheelchair psycho. So why didn't they just give a similar animation from the wheelchair psycho to the wheelchair granny? Like this weird up and down movement she does. Like that does, and not to mention her face. Like that is not scary at all. It's, it's just, it's freaking hilarious. Like some, I just want to bust out laughing if I saw that. I mean, the fact that it's meant to be scary, just, no, it's not scary. Like, yeah, it's Granny with a hatchet, honestly. Um, and with really unnatural torso movements. The idea of a psycho Granny in a wheelchair um, does seem pretty good. I mean, yeah, I like the idea that kind of like how wheelchair psycho existed, but it was not executed well at all. Number two is the infamous Johnny Punk. Now you probably were all expecting Johnny Punk to be number one and to be honest I was too because Johnny Punk is known to be a garbage prop like complete garbage. But honestly the reason why I don't put him at number one he's very close to number one which um honestly if you've been listening you might know who it is. He just I can laugh about him because he's so bad he's kind of hilarious. Like, I, I can just laugh about how bad he is. And just with all these memes about him going around with other haunters, I can I can now laugh at him. And honestly, if Spirit brought him back for an April Fool's, I would, I would actually laugh. I think it'd be funny. Before we get to number one, I'm going to have a few dishonorable mentions before we get there. Two scoops. I'll admit, that thing is ugly. Like, I can't stand those things' faces. Like, what on earth? But... I guess it would be at number 11 because I'll admit this is a controversial opinion. I'm sorry, but he'd be at number 11, I feel like, because I really don't like his face. Their faces, their two faces. The kid looks fine, but the clowns and the phrases and the voice just make my ears bleed. But I don't see it as being as bad as these other ones. Ghost Girl, all the way back from 2012. I don't hate this one. Like, there's a lot of mixed opinions on it, but I don't hate this one. Somebody in my neighborhood actually has her, and I've seen her a lot. And honestly, I can't hate her for that for some reason. I mean, yeah, I guess she's not the greatest quality, but she's not that bad in my opinion. Mommy's favorite. Yeah, I'll admit, I don't really like that one this much, but she's still not the worst to me. And I know when she has squished in faces sometimes... The face sculpt, I mean, besides the whole squish face thing, is not so bad. I mean, uh, yeah. I'm, mm. Forgotten Farmer. Now, if you're buying this to be scary, then, wow, you failed. <laughs> but, <laughs> but honestly, if you want a comedic prop, I feel like this would work. I, I can't help but um, kind of like the Forgotten Farmer a little if you do want a comedic prop. I mean, if you uh, want a, um, if you want Johnny Punk for comedy, then I guess you could do that too. Stilts. I have not seen this guy yet. Not a lot of us have. Some people have ordered it online, 
But from a lot of the things I've seen, he has a cheap ass face. Like, it's so plasticky, so weird and goofy almost. I mean, I like his height and his pins have blood on them, but at this moment, I'm not too fond of him. All right, we made it to number one. You guys are probably not gonna be surprised at this at all. Young Crouchy. <laughs> Do I even need to explain? I mean, at least I can get a laugh out of Johnny Punk for how bad he is, but this thing? This thing is awful. Like, literally, you take one of the coolest clown props, known to be huge, and shrink him down. Like, you just ruined the whole point of Crouchy. Every time I walked through the walkthrough in the, in the store, I just wanted to punch young Crouchy right in the nose. I mean, I never did that because then that would be considered rude. So I fully consider young Crouchy, as of now, I hope it'll stay that way for a very long time. The number one worst spirit Halloween prop of all time. It is complete dumpster fire. All right, so that was my top 10 list of the worst spirit Halloween animatronics as of July 2023. I would like to hear your list of your least favorite animatronics down in the comments, or you can make a video yourself and tag me if you'd like. And I will see you guys soon. Bye!